So, I have a bit of a problem. Past couple years now, I have been buying Lego sets uh, with, you know, my adult money, because now that I have disposable income, I get to choose what I spend my money on. And recently, uh, it's gotten a little bit, just a little bit, out of hand. About a year ago, I posted a video of me building my biggest Lego set yet, and that was the Barcelona Stadium, the Camp Nou. If you haven't seen the Lego shelf yet, let me give you a quick tour before we break down uh, what items I bought in this Lego haul. So at the very top, you can see the Barcelona Stadium. This thing is beautiful. I actually got a light kit for it, so check this out. When you flip the switch, it turns the lights on. Looks like a real stadium. Probably one of the coolest things I've ever bought. It took me I think like 17 hours to build this thing total over like a couple days. It was crazy. There's a full time lapse. If you want to see that full video, I have a link down in the description. And then pretty much everything besides that is Star Wars. I'm really into Lego Star Wars. Lego spaceships just look really cool. So I just like to buy them and display them. So over here, we've got both X-Wings. We've got Luke Skywalker's X-Wing from the original. And then we've got Poe Dameron's X-Wing, which is a little bit bigger, a little bit more detailed. And then below that, I've got one of the Jedi fighters. And I'm not sure what this one in the back is. I just know that I got it in like middle school. One of my favorite ships is the Lego Razor Crest from the Mandalorian. Uh, love this ship. They just recently came out with like a scale version of this, but it's like $400, so not gonna get that. Below this is probably one of the Lego sets I regret buying the most. Now don't get me wrong, this Lego set is really cool. It's like a Steamboat Willie set. Uh, what's cool about it is like the outside's black and white, but as you build it, everything on the inside is rainbow. And if you pick it up and look on the inside, you can see the inside is super colorful and like full of rainbows, and the outside is all black and white. So this is a really cool set, and when you move it, the wheels rotate and it moves like the steam engine thing on the top, which is also, a, you know, a nice touch. So that's a cool set. And then at the very bottom of the Lego shelf, this is just kind of the miscellaneous shelf, the sets I don't really care about. All of these sets I've had since I was in like elementary school or middle school. I don't even know what some of them are called. I just know I like them. I got them as like Christmas gifts, like again, way back when I was a little kid. If I end up buying more Legos after this, I'm definitely gonna have to like get rid of those and only keep the ones that I really like. I can just donate them somewhere, give them to a kid or something that wants to mess around with Legos and play with them because I don't really play with them anymore. They just, you know, are displayed on my shelf. But that is what I have right now. Oh wait, I almost forgot one of my favorite Lego sets. It's actually right back there. It's this 50th anniversary R2-D2, which is super sick. Uh, it comes with a little plaque, super fun Lego set. But like I said before, almost all my Legos are Star Wars, and if you're not a Star Wars fan or a Lego fan, this might not be interesting to you. Uh, but if you haven't guessed yet, based on all the other Lego sets in my room, this is also a Star Wars Lego set inside of here. It's actually three of them. Like I said, I splurged a little bit. They're some of the cheaper sets, and I got them all on a discount, all on sale from, as, as you can see, got them from Walmart. So let's Let's actually get into this and see what we got and then we'll build them, time lapse it, and then I'll show you the finished product at the end. So let's let's just start. First one is now I'm a huge fan of The Mandalorian. I think The Mandalorian is a wonderful show. What I'm really waiting for is a Mandalorian video game. That would be sick. But the first thing I got is the Mandalorian bust. It's like his helmet. Pretty sick. This is gonna look really cool displayed on the shelf. On the back, you can see what it's going for. There's the normal helmet, and then you know it's matching it to the Lego set. Looks pretty cool, pretty detailed, I like it. The next one, now this is a set I have always wanted since I was a kid. I thought the TIE Fighters were the coolest looking ships ever, and I have finally got one. So this is the TIE Fighter. Looks pretty cool, comes with a couple mini figures. And the final one, and the one I'm most excited for, because like I mentioned already, I love the Mandalorian, is his new ship, which, if you saw in the little Lego tour early, earlier, I have this original set. It's one of the starships from Naboo. It used to be yellow, but if you watch the show, you know that uh, the Razor Crest got blown up, so he used one of those and made his own new ship, which is pretty sick. So now I have both Mandalorian ships. I have the Razor Crest and I have this. All right, I don't know which one I'm gonna build first. Um, I wanna start with the helmet of the Mandalorian. So let's start there. Uh, let's get a time-lapse set up and let's build this thing. Let's do it.
So all the Lego sets are built. I had a very good time. I just love building Legos. The first set I built was the Mandalorian helmet. Um, there aren't really any big complaints about this. My only complaint is that it's too small. Like I wish this was almost like a full sized head. Like here's my head for comparison. It's not very big, but it's very dense. I feel like every other Lego set I have is really light. This is like really heavy, feels like a brick, and it looks super sick. It even has like the best scar, like it looks shiny, just like the real Mandalorian helmet, which is pretty cool. The next set I built was the TIE Fighter. The TIE Fighter was really cool to build. This little perimeter all the way around like this is actually all one piece and it kind of connects all the way around. I thought that was very unique how they decided to do that. So that was really cool. Love this. Like I mentioned earlier, I've always wanted one of these and now I have one, which is awesome. And the last one, the one I was most excited about was the new ship from The Mandalorian. Uh, it's like repurposed Naboo Starfighter. Uh, this one, I do have some complaints about though. So in here is The Mandalorian and then back here, you know, it's Baby uh, Yoda or Grogu. The problem is when you lift this up, he can't fit in here with his jetpack, which this thing comes with a jetpack. And in order to put the jetpack on, you have to take the minifigure's head completely off, put the jetpack on, and then the head, the piece that holds the head on, holds the jetpack on. But he won't fit in here with the jetpack. So every time you wanna put him in here, you've gotta take the jetpack off to put it on, which I find very annoying. Another very annoying detail is right here. You can kind of see it. There's a gap. So the cockpit area for the Mandalorian doesn't seal all the way. I feel like that's an oversight that they could have easily fixed by either making a special piece specifically for the set that sealed that, or finding another way to build it. The Lego engineers are geniuses, so it's kind of crazy that there's a gap right here and that the cockpit doesn't seal all the way because, you know, this is a spaceship, you're in space. If that happened in real life, you know, you'd die. And I know this is just a Lego set, it's just really a toy, but that little detail is kind of annoying. Everything else about the set is pretty cool. It's much longer than I expected. I mean, look at this thing, it is so long. It goes all the way out to here. It's huge, um, but really just those cockpit issues are kind of annoying because if I want to display him inside of here, I have to take the jetpack off and everything. Also, the cockpit doesn't close all the way. Like if I just push it, doesn't close. To get it past there, I have to like kind of warp it a little bit. So everything else about the ship is really cool except for the cockpit area. Don't like it, I think it needs to get fixed. I don't know, but the ship itself is cool. It looks good on the shelf, which is what I really want it for. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy overall, especially because I got all these on sale. So those are all the sets. If you're into Lego, I would love to know what you're currently building or what you plan to build in the future. I think my next set is gonna be very expensive, but it's gonna be the Optimus Prime. I am a huge Transformers fan. I grew up on Transformers, the original cartoon, and I think this OG Optimus Prime looks so sick and it can transform without taking it apart. I had some Transformer Legos way back in the day, but in order to transform them, you had to take them apart and build them in the car version and then take them apart again to put them back in the you know human form Transformer version. Version. But this one does it all in one, which is so cool. It's a transformer and a Lego all in one. Looks so sick. I just don't have anywhere to put it, so that's gonna be like a big problem. But I think it looks so good. That's gonna wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna have links to these Lego sets if you're interested in the description, so check those out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.